Well, I think I'll just start. Uh, really, I was just—I know you guys probably want to hit on the Tampa Bay game. Uh, obviously, not what we wanted as an offense. Uh, we got to be more efficient on first, second down. Coach hit on that last week, and I think any time uh, when you have so many three and outs, I think you look back at the tape and you kind of look at see what you can improve on and do better. And I think even dating back to Carolina game, I think when Quez hit that big third down, that kind of got us going. And I think when you can have a big play or someone can step and make a big play, it kind of gets you in a rhythm. Uh, so I think we need to keep continuing to grow uh, as an offense. Um, are we where we want to be right now? No. But we got 11 games left, uh, and it's going to start this weekend in Vegas and uh, try to get back on the right track. Nick had mentioned um, you know, the lack of experience that uh, he had had uh, with zone replays. And I'm wondering, if that does that affect ultimately production? Can it? Uh, I think with anything, I think you look to grow and improve on everything. I think we got a lot of good coaches, uh, and when we're looking at certain things, we got a lot of guys that have good input, and we're looking to get better uh, every week uh, with that stuff. Uh, and that's the, that's the main focus: is keep growing as an offense and getting better. What's been your experience with, with those types of plays? I think I, I did a little bit last year when I was with Justin Herbert, um, but other than that, that's pretty much it because I've been around Phil Rivers most of the, uh, my coaching career. Um, so last year was the first year I had a little bit of experience with it, but there is guys on our staff like Jason Michael and Brian Johnson that done it a lot. So it's good to have those guys, and Stout's done it as well. Is it so, is it, just to follow up one more time, is it something that's um, – really detailed or is it just you know as easy as reading a defender and there's a lot of detail that goes into it because when you start running zone read a lot teams are going to play you different so when you're looking at teams and you're scheming up certain things and you see what they're doing defensively um they're not going to always play you the same way because of the quarterback we have uh so i'm not going to get into too much scheme on how teams are doing it but teams do play it differently when you're running that type of stuff Shane, how much difference have you seen from say week one when you guys were really successful up to Tampa Bay, as guys shifted from a defensive standpoint, has it been drastic when you're talking about the zone read stuff? Um, yeah, I think I think I think we've done some really good things. Um, obviously, Atlanta was a great start for us. I think we moved the ball efficiently uh, against San Francisco. Obviously, we didn't score in the red zone, um, but I think you know we've had some ups and downs uh, through you know the first six weeks, and I think we're just continuing to grow and improve as an offense and get better. And like I said, we got 11 games left. And that's the biggest thing. We got everything we want in front of us, and our players know that. And uh, we're just cleaning up the details right now and focusing on this week. Sorry, how important do you think having a physicality to what you do is? As an I think you definitely have to be. This football is a physical football game. I mean, you got to be physical. You got to be able to run it, and especially when it gets cold here and it's starting to change. You you got to be able to run the football well uh, in those situations. So I think you definitely have to be physical. Do you feel like this? You guys have yet to show physicality that you'd want. So uh, I think we've shown physicality. I think we really have. I think we got to keep getting better at it. But we got the guys up front. Uh, this offensive line, like I said, this is the best offensive line I've been around. So uh, excited about the guys up front, uh, the backs, the receivers. They're blocking well. So we got to keep improving. What's the process for in-game adjustments with the staff? Um, I think throughout the game, obviously, there's a lot of good conversation on the sidelines. Obviously, you look at the services on what they're doing and how can we adjust and make certain things. I mean, there's certain things that come up in the game that might not be in the game plan that say, hey, shoot, they're playing this. we got to run this. And those are stuff that's in our offense that are staples that we like, and those are the conversations that happen on the sideline. Obviously, Nick's the play caller, but as, as the head coach, he's, he's managing the game when the defense is on the field, too. Is, is that you kind of leading the way there in, in terms of those adjustments? Yeah, we have, we have a process that we go through on the sidelines that we talk about through the week on certain things like, hey, let's talk about our next series of runs that we want. Here's our next pass that we want. Hey, what screen do we want up? So we talk through all those things, and then we have a plan going forward. As you come back from this mini bye week, uh, what are some of the big takeaways from the offensive performance so far? I think the biggest thing I just hit on earlier is just efficiency on first and second down. You know, I, I, we had some really good conversations as an offensive staff on Friday. Um, and, you know, obviously we self-scout ourselves every week, but obviously we had some extra time this weekend to look through some certain things on what we can get better at. And, and I, I, think, I, I think we're going to be all right. I really do. I think our guy, we have, the right, we have the right coaching staff. Coach does a heck of a job. He's a great leader. Uh, and we got the right players to get this thing turned. You guys run a lot of zone reads and RPOs, and there's been a tribute to having Miles Sanders get the ball. Why hasn't he gotten a lot of it early on, especially first and second down when it comes to the design run plays? Yeah, I think that's something we looked at. You know, that's what was something, something we've been looking at uh, on, on doing some of those things. Um, and so even like the ones we hit last week, obviously we popped some late in the game, you know, where he popped them, and those could have been called runs. Those could have been RPOs. I mean, you know, from the, from the, from the naked eye, just looking at it, you don't really know. So 
not trying to get too schemey with it. But yeah, Miles is a heck of a back, and we got to get him going. Uh, no more Zach Ertz, obviously, uh, getting moved. Uh, how does that change things for you in the offense? Obviously, that's a, a veteran guy. You yeah, well, first and foremost, I just want to wish Zach the best. Um, being around him the short time that I was during training camp in these first six weeks, I mean, he was an ultimate pro, uh, did everything you wanted, studied the game, loved the game, worked hard, and uh, wish him nothing but the best. But uh, obviously, uh, Dallas's role will probably pick up a little more, and then obviously Jack and uh, – and Tyree and Noah, all those guys are going to be able to step up and uh, make some plays. We've never really seen Dallas be that number one guy for an extended period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your level of, of comfort in him being that guy, and how, how do you think he'll do? I think Dallas will do a heck of a job. Um, he's explosive. He's got really good hands. He's strong. He's powerful. He's good in the run game. Uh, so really excited about Dallas moving forward. We asked you earlier in the season about uh, uh, Jalen's lack of passes in between the hashes, and I think it's there's a stat out there that's probably the lowest in the it's, it's the lowest in the NFL. I mean, is, is at this point is that a trend, and is that something that you guys view as an issue that needs to be corrected? No, I think with anything, I think I hit on this earlier. I think when you're looking at plays and what defenses are doing defensively from a coverage standpoint, are they giving you the middle of the field, right? Are they giving you the middle of the field? If they are, we're going to take it. And if they're giving us one on ones on the outside, we're going to take that. So I think that's a game by game uh, basis. You feel like teams are taking, trying to take that away from you guys? Sometimes they are, yeah, sometimes they are. We've seen Jalen just miss some guys that I'm sure he their throws would like to have back, um, open guys. Um, what can you do to, to get him through that? Is it mechanical? Have you seen anything with his footwork? What are you seeing there? Uh, I think you just continue to work it in practice and repetition. You know, you go back and look at the tape and you talk through it mechanically, uh, fundamentals and all that stuff, and then you just keep working it in practice to get him better. You talked about the, the third down play that Quez made against Carolina. Uh, do you feel like he could be even more involved in the offense? Quez? Yeah, I, I think a lot. I mean, like I said, we want to get everyone involved. I mean, Quez has got big playability. Uh, obviously, Devontae is a big-time player. Dallas is a big-time player. Miles is a big-time player. So uh, as much as we can get everyone involved, we want to do that. I don't know how much the players have been around during the past 24 hours, but uh, I, I guess how has Lane been since he's been back? Yeah. What does that add to the offense? Today? Yeah, it's great to have Lane back. I just saw him for the first time yesterday. Obviously, he's a big part of our offense, and we're excited to have him back. Let's see, will he bring you up your, your line and kind of stabilize it to come back there right tackle? Yeah, I think Coach will handle those, uh, those questions, but uh, we're excited to have him back.